Now, this year, Mike Dilger has brought us plenty of images of wildlife in action, but this time he's concentrating on just one still animal painting. Yeah, but it's the talented artist behind the brush who is the true star of this film. Having spent a lifetime exploring Britain's diverse wildlife, I love seeing animals celebrated in art. From the startling close-ups of photographer Ben C. Marte to David Shepard's majestic portraits of African elephants. These images have the power to change the way we see the natural world around us. But not only are they great to look at, they also have an ability to shine a spotlight on some of the world's most endangered animals. One artist doing just that is 29-year-old Leanne Beetham, whose work has been exhibited in the Royal Academy of Arts. But Leanne is a wildlife artist with a difference, one who paints with only the use of her mouth. Born with a rare genetic condition, Leanne has never been able to use her hands or legs. I can never really think back to a time when I didn't paint and didn't enjoy it. I was raised by my grandmother. My grandma's never really seen me as disabled. So anything that I wanted to do, she's always supported and encouraged and let me do it, basically. Leanne put a pen in her mouth when she was about three and uh, just started drawing. I couldn't believe it when I saw what she was doing. <laughs> my whole life, I've always been fascinated by animals and I've always had a love of art, so then the two have naturally combined. Over the years, Leanne has painted all kinds of animals, from the exotic to the familiar. But the subject of her next portrait is one that holds a special significance for her. Now, wildlife art is so much better when you can actually see the animal yourself. What's the one species you really would like to get close up to but never had the chance? I've always wanted to see a wolf. They're amazing creatures. It's an animal of wild places, and you probably have limited opportunity. Exactly. It's really difficult to get in certain areas with a wheelchair. The One Show has arranged for Leanne to visit the UK's Wolf Conservation Trust in Reading, allowing her special access to get up close with these compelling creatures. There's one male and two females. That's Tundra, the boss at the back. Leanne uses a specially adapted camera that she controls with her mouth, and the resulting photo will form the basis of her portrait. You're at the perfect eye level. Look at her checking you out. It's fantastic. Well, you've got the subjects, you've got the technology. I'm going to leave you to it. I'll look forward to seeing the photos later. Are you going to find it hard to drag me away from here? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf packs once roamed right across Britain. But today, the only ones left are in centres like this one, which work to raise awareness about this enigmatic, endangered animal. We use them as working animals, so the public can come and see what the natural behaviour of a wolf is like. Do you ever get them howling? Yes, we do get them howling quite a lot. Will they howl if I try? I think they will, if you want to give it a go. Oh! How could you not love an animal that makes a noise like that? That is amazing. Whilst I've been channeling my inner wolf, Leanne has been photographing them. Did you hear the wolves howling? That was fantastic. It was amazing. <laughs> and how's the photographs going? I really like this one. Oh, that's lovely. Really nice light. Is that the kind of picture you're looking for, for the painting? Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, I do him justice. Over the next three weeks, Leanne works on her painting, first creating a sketch and then adding shade and colour, until finally, her portrait is complete. A majestic picture of a truly majestic animal.